Remember R-Type? Remember Darius? Remember all those games from the 80s where you used to fly around, side-scrolling or vertically scrolling games shooting the crap out of lots of anonymous aliens? Well, so does Super Hydra and it wants you to have the same amount of fun that you had back in the day. This is a brand new game that's appeared on the App Store. It's already been released on things like, I think PC's got it, I believe PS4 or Xbox has it as well, uh, and it's just appeared on touchscreen. And the question is, as it always is, does it work on a touchscreen? And in the case of most shmups, the answer is a big old yes, because touchscreen is perfect for these kind of games. Slide your thumb around, it exactly mirrors the movement of your thumb, it automatically fires. I can stop it firing, the ship, if I put my other thumb on the screen, but frankly, why would I want to ever stop it firing? Always, always be firing. Uh, I think this has been done superbly well. Look at the animations. It's clearly paying homage to all those classic shooters uh, of the of late 80s and early 90s, but doing so in a way that sort of takes advantage of a few of the benefits of modern game design. I think the animation particularly is extremely nice, uh, and I guess they're not quite as limited by some of the 16-bit constraints they would have had back in the day if you were playing this uh, perhaps in an arcade machine or on an early, very early console. And... Uh, I'm just, I'm just loving it, frankly. I've got a bit of a soft spot for shooters. I had an Amiga back in the day, uh, and one of the games I got obsessed with on that was Xenon 2, which was a vertically scrolling shooter. And then I found my way into things like Ikaruga and other sort of classics. I'm not like a, a mad cave geek or anything, but I have played a bunch of them, and I do enjoy the time I spend with them. And Super Hydra feels very much like it knows its history. There are certain enemies that pop up where I'm like, yep, I recognize you immediately, and then they do, ooh, nice exciting new riffs uh, on the old formula. But look at that. Look at how nice that looks. Look at the heat haze on the ship. Oh, lovely. This is what I want. So I should explain we're doing hands-ons for the next uh, few videos because I'm away in San Francisco. Maybe even as you watch this, I'm on a plane somewhere. So I won't be able to cover stuff uh, for the next week. But I'm doing a bunch of things in advance based on this week's new releases. Oh my god. Can I get through the gap? Can I get through the gap? Yes. Uh, and... Uh, so it's going to be a few hands-ons, and their reviews will be over on Pocket Gamer as per usual, but I'm kind of incorporating some of the reviews into it. My review of this is I like it. It's really good. It's dead nice, and I want to play more of it. I'm probably playing more of it uh, on a plane in San Francisco right now, because look, look at all this. All this fuzzy laser business. I just think the attention to detail is great. The flow of the uh, action is lovely. The only thing that catches me out from time to time is the way the screen moves because it doesn't lock into one single position. As you can see, it moves up and down. In other levels, you can control the movement of the camera. And sometimes that will mean I'll overcompensate slightly and I'll move too far up because as the camera tracks up, it moves the position of your ship a little bit. And that's the only thing where I was like, ah, I, I have to get used to this. I'm not, I'm not getting this quite right. Can I find the gap? Find the gap? Yes thread the needle but uh that's just me getting used to the game i think what they've done here is a brilliant example of taking a classic formula and repurposing it for another generation while still kind of keeping the sense the feel the vibrancy the vitality of that old genre alive mainly it just works brilliantly well on a touchscreen and that's always great and not a big surprise when it comes to games whoa like this i think this is like strategy games these side-scrolling or vertically-scrolling shmups are perfectly suited for touchscreens and almost, in some ways, you know, as good as, if not the best way to play them because of the one-to-one -one kind of precision with which you can move the craft around instead of just waggling a joystick and accelerating in a set speed in one direction. So, yeah, I think they've nailed it with this and it just makes me want to play more and more and more. So I think there's about 20 levels in total. Whoa, I get, oh, you, you get pushed down. There's kind of a gravity when that beam fires out. I didn't realize, awesome. Yeah, 20 levels in total. I've seen people who have like finished a game saying it's not the longest game and it does get tough. There are difficulty spikes. There are a couple of difficulty modes you can choose from, however, if you want to tone things down a little. Mainly they affect how your shield works. You can see right now that my shield is flashing because of this insanely big laser beam. Whoa. And you can obviously upgrade the weapons as well. There are three different weapon types that you get. Oh my god, I think I'm going to die because I haven't killed this. Come on! Ah, oh, nice. No bonus though, because I don't think I took it out early enough. But yeah, the broad review of this. I mean, look how R-type this looks. My god. But look at the lights following you that track you around. Isn't that a nice touch? Bit of the old, bit of the new. That's what I like to see. So... 
You'll be able to get this right now on the App Store. It will cost you cash money. I'm not exactly sure how much yet because it's not technically been released as I record this. But Super Hydra is the name. Go and find it on your App Stores. Thank you for watching. See you next time.